Right then, this is a quick road test video. And this is for a Honda CRV. It's a two litre ES automatic registered L777ATP. Obviously that's a private plate um, and that comes with the sale of the vehicle, which is really nice actually. The reason we do the videos is very simple indeed. Um, it doesn't matter what the car is, what the price is, um, it's just to ensure that if anyone's looking at the car in the advert online, they actually get to see that car in operation. Um, because we know how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good in photographs and description, only to get there to find out that it's got a fundamental issue that shows up whilst driving the car. Um, so that's why we do it. Uh, so coming to the car, that I said, the point of it is to show issues. As you'll know from the advert, this is sold as requiring, requiring repairs. The only obvious repair, in all honesty, is the fact that it's got an engine management light on um, currently. Um, and that's why we've chosen to sort of flag that up. Uh, it's not something we're looking to attend to, delve into. Uh, because of the price of the car, we have to devote our main attention to our retail stock. Um, so it's sold as it is. Um, the car starts absolutely instantly. Um, there's no issues at all with starting the car, driving the car, the engine pulls really nicely. Um, so it doesn't seem to affect that in any way. And judging by what the chap who owned it said, um, that's been as it is for many years actually. So it's, it's been, it hasn't affected him at all. Um, the engine say seems very very sweet and pulls really very nicely these are a lovely generation of car i mean it shows how old i am i was actually at the honda dealership back in 96 97 when we the, the launch of the original crv this crv um, took place and um, this was the facelift later version one of the last ones um, but it drives really nicely it comes with the later gearboxes on these ones with the sort of grade logic and overdrive button on the side um, the gear change really smooth and slick that car drives very very tightly indeed i have to say um, you know it's uh i think it had a new drive shaft put on one side and it's had relatively recent front discs and pads that look very good indeed um, but in terms of kind of engine gearbox uh, aside from the warning light on there it drives very very well indeed and pulls really nicely temperature gauge running at a third it's been running for some time now and that's exactly where it's meant to be so it all seems good in that respect steering of the car feels still very tight in hand um, you know it feels secure on the road they always drove very nicely this era of um, Honda um, it's got a kind of a sort of a heftiness to its steering which i really like although it's power steering it's still light but it's not overly light it's not because it's conventional fluid power steering it's not electric power steering uh, it hasn't got that horrible kind of lightness about it um but as i said it feels tight on the road the chassis of the car i mean it, modern cars don't ride like this which is a shame because this is so comfortable because it's on big balloon tires you know uh, it's not got those sort of fancy low profile things which basically means that any bits in the road you know ruts you bang into this just smothers them without you hardly notice them it's really nicely done there's no nasty clonks or bangs coming from underneath the vehicle it feels very very tight indeed come around inside the car and um, first thing you notice when you drive a car this age is I mean again because crash testing and everything's changed things and um, the visibility is absolutely brilliant in them um, you can actually see the bonnet got the big wing mirrors massive windscreen fantastic visibility all around in the car and what a beautifully made vehicle 20 years old and realistically there's no real squeaks or rattles from inside it it's just feels as tight as a drum you obviously get something now and again but realistically it's uh yeah it's, it, it just shows how well honda put their cars together it really really does um all in very nice condition in here we've not cleaned it it's exactly as it came to us obviously this one benefits from having the wood trim uh, the full black leather option fitted as well as the side, honda side steps it's a really good looking car uh, this would have been incredibly sought after um new or a few years down the line because black ES automatics with the kit and the leather 
um, were very, very rare indeed. Just going to spin around here. It's not normally this busy, but I think there's been an issue on the motorway, so people are trying to find places to drive where they're not stuck. Um, the brakes in the car feel really good. As I said, it looks like it's had relatively new discs and pads on the front, but they pull up really strongly as well. Um, as I say, coming back to the interior of the vehicle, um, the fan, all that stuff works, the gauge is all working, radio, original Honda radio in the car. Um, you, there's not many as good as this one. I mean, it's not perfect, um, but you know, its electrics work really well. He did say that the passenger electric window is a bit is slow going up and down, um, so that might need attending to. It may just be dry in the runners, um, or the motor might be getting tired, which you'd expect on a 20 year old vehicle, but all the others seem to work fine. Electric sunroof all working as well. Um, but as I said, it's only meant to be a short video to show it operating, um, but to feedback on any issues. The only ones I can find really the EML light there, and I say. The only way other one possibly that sort of slightly slow electrical window on the passenger side aside from that it drives really really nicely